Everybody knows the, 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 the book of the Genesis with uh, uh, the Garden of Eden and um, it's, uh, every, it's something that we studied and uh, we know about Adam and Eve, we know about the, the Promised Land and so on and this is the point of departure for uh, this exhibition. Fausto Melotti studied engineering. He was a poet, a musician and an artist with deep knowledge in architecture, design and decoration, so we can have an idea of the complexity of his vocabulary. I want to underline Melotti's continuous investigation between abstraction and representation, between rational and intuitive, conscious and unconscious, absence and form, material and ethereal. This exhibition is a celebration of Melotti's universe. I try to orchestrate his ceramics, his works on paper, his gold or stainless steel, brass, plaster and clay sculptures to achieve an intimate, playful and fantastic ancestral world. I work at following Melotti's dephysicalization of the human figures, from the monolithic silhouette of the Savio at the entrance to the giants at the very end of the space, fading and almost dissolving from the rationality and mighty figure of the Savio, one of the seven sages, to the fluidity and musicality of the weightless six characters of the giants, shifting from the static to the dynamic. Materials evaporate into lightness, and the sculpture and its shadow turns into a drawing in the space. Between these extremes there are two lovers hugging, evoking Adam and Eve, and some other human figures like in the uneasy conscience. To me, a heritage and a tribute to futurist sculpture with a found mirror instead of the head, reflecting the viewer's face and paired up with the gold bass relief titled The Sunset in the Rushes. In my opinion, that tiny mirror suggests the anxiety of the artist and the need to take a long, hard look at oneself. I mean, the Second World War caused a great inner pain to the artist. Once, he said his soul was full not of desperations, but figures of desperation. That is really, really different. He took refuge in the intimacy of his studio, working mainly in ceramics, but he reacted in a silent way, I would say in a melancholic but positive way. He built his own visionary reality. The whole idea of the show is to represent, to show like a landscape that, uh, that is in between terrestrial and celestial and uh, it's unbelievable how close they are even if they, they are totally different and he used a different material, different material because it was not that important for him. He was born in, in 1901 in Rovereto and his close friends and his cousin Carlo Belli uh, were some of the most important people in, in that period and he, he was spending his time with musicians, with architects, some of the most important architects and uh, uh, artists from the Futurism uh, movement and, uh, and you could see this uh, influences in his work. Uh, it's theatrical, you can see it in uh, his decorative arts or in his ceramics, uh, with um, his friendship with uh, Lucio Fontana, his friendship with uh, uh, Joe Ponti, and, and, and you can see all those influences in his work. <laughs> 